Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for March 18th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawk Watch. Today started off cold and frosty with temperatures in the mid 20s and clear blue skies, but it warmed up fairly quickly, reaching the mid 50s by the afternoon with a few clouds rolling in towards the end of the day. The winds today were a little stronger than they had forecast. We were a little worried that the southeasterly winds would be too light, but it ended up being a moderate southeasterly wind for the entire day. So really good conditions for raptor migration. Today was an amazing day of hawk watching. One of the best days of hawk watching I've ever had. And I've had a lot of days of hawk watching from the mid-morning when we had a really low, good flight of red-shouldered and red-tailed hawks, and then that good flight just continued throughout the day with a mix of golden eagles and rough-legged hawks to keep things interesting, and then a big push of turkey vultures towards the end of the day that every time we would set a goal, a thousand birds for the day, 1,500 birds for the day, a thousand turkey vultures for the day, the turkey vultures just kept coming and pushing us past that goal. With today being such a long day in the field and tomorrow looking like another excellent day, I just don't have the time to do my normal style of video. So I think what I'll do in this video is just go through the eBird checklist in one take, no editing, and show you what we had today. And I'll put a link to the eBird checklist in the description. And I really encourage you to click that link and take a look yourself. I have a lot of Raptor photos in this checklist. And if you're learning hawk identification, I think scrolling through all the photos of those red tails and red shoulders will really give you an idea of the variety of plumages and help you learn to identify them. So today we had a total of 57 species. We were at the North Lookout all day. We still have some snow geese migrating with about 175 small flock with some Canada geese mixed in and then some later pure flocks later on in the day. Not too many ducks around, some wood ducks flying around and black ducks, but not very many ducks on the water. It seems like those big flocks we were having early in the season have now left. Continuing down, we had two migrating pairs of sandhill cranes for a total of four. We had a kill deer that landed in the grass very close to us, which was kind of funny. And then uh, moving down to the raptors, first four-digit day of raptor migration, we had over 1,300 turkey vultures and some of them gave us really nice close looks. And towards the end of the day is when the numbers really started to pick up. And then actually, as we got towards sunset, there was a large number of turkey vultures that roosted out in the trees out in front of us across uh, Sage Creek Marsh. And we thought they might sit there and wait for tomorrow for everyone to get a big lift off. But actually around 7 p.m. tonight, those vultures all lifted off and migrated past. So that was an additional 83 turkey vultures for the count. We had our first osprey of the season today, which was nice to finally get one of those. Kim had one when she was up here a few days ago. That was the first one in the region. So we finally got one for the count. We had four golden eagles today, some really nice adults that we got great looks at. And the one funny part was uh, one of the golden eagles was being chased by common ravens. So we got a nice comparison between the shape and size of the common raven on the left, which is already a decent sized bird. Ravens are about the same size as a red-tailed hawk and the much larger golden eagle on the right. But these two species can sometimes be confused, especially the adult golden eagles, which are all dark. Moving down to the excipiters and former excipiters, 37 sharpies today and 43 coops. So decent flight, enough that it was steady that we were seeing them throughout the day. 10 northern harriers, again, somewhat moderate number. 26 bald eagles was the biggest flight of the season. And then we get to the Budios, 172 red-shouldered hawks. And this is the peak time for the adult red-shouldered hawk migration. Every red shoulder that we were able to age today, which was most of them, was an adult. So not seeing very many juveniles at all. We've had some over the past several days, but still very much in the adult red-shouldered hawk migration. So if you like adult red-shouldered hawks, this is kind of the window to come out and see them. There's something that uh, passed through mainly in March. By the time we get to April, it'll mostly be the juveniles. And then red-tailed hawks, 261 today. 
And again, I have tons of red-tailed hawk photos on this checklist, and I really encourage you to click the link and scroll through. There are some, like this bird, for example, very heavily marked. There's others like this bird, a little more lightly marked. And there's also some juvenile photos mixed in here. And then moving on to rough-legged hawks, we had a mix of light and dark ones today. Look at this dark one, nice dark adult male. You see those multiple tail bands, really dark underneath, amazing bird. And a nice mix of light morphs as well, including this adult male. And then moving on to the falcons, we had six kestrels and two merlins today. We did not have a peregrine. Uh, peregrine would have been nice because that would have completed all of the expected raptors for this time of year. Still too early to get the broad wings, but we had basically everything else we expect to get over the course of the season with the exception of some of the rarities like Swainson's hawk. So Peregrine was kind of a, a painful miss today, but it was such a great day of hawk watching. Who really cares? Maybe we'll get one tomorrow. We had a few tree swallows migrate through. This robin gave a nice look in the morning. He somehow found a worm out of the parking lot. Um, just really nice light in the morning sometimes to photograph the birds. We had a fox sparrow that was singing, and then I did track it down, but right as I went to get a photo, it flew from the tree. It was perched in, and we weren't able to find it again, but everyone loves fox sparrows. A very large, distinctive-looking sparrow with a beautiful whistling song. Had a few eastern meadow larks, including this one towards the end of the day, which gave a nice look as it plopped down in the field in front of us. And then another really nice highlight towards the end of the day was we had our first rusty blackbirds of the season. And I estimated around 75. We had many small flocks that were migrating by and some of them stopped and landed in the trees. So very nice to see rusty blackbirds. It's a declining species and a very beautiful bird. It has a subtle beauty to it at least. And also a good number of red-winged blackbirds and common grackles on the move today. We had three new species for the season today, which were osprey, fox sparrow, and rusty blackbird, bringing us to a total of 89 species for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, let me take a deep breath for this one. We had 1,334 turkey vultures, one osprey, 26 bald eagles, 10 northern harriers, 37 sharp-shinned hawks, 43 cooper's hawks. For beautios, we had 172 red-shouldered hawks, 261 red-tailed hawks, and eight rough-legged hawks. We had four golden eagles. We had six kestrels and two merlins for a total of 1,904 migrating raptors, which more than doubled the season total. And that brings us to a season total of 3,559 migrating raptors. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking like a mix of sun and clouds with a high up near 70. Very warm. Winds south-southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. These are excellent conditions again, and there's a lot of hawks that should be along the lakeshore ready to move. If you look at numbers at places like Braddock Bay, they had a lot of hawks go through today that are heading our way, and we had a lot of hawks at the end of the day today and a lot of vultures, so should be a really good flight tomorrow. If you miss today and you have fear of missing out, then tomorrow may be the day to stop out because after tomorrow, Thursday, good southerly winds, but there's rain moving in, so that may prevent much of a raptor flight. And then for Friday, much colder with a high only around 40 with west-northwest winds at 15 to 25. So maybe some vultures pushing through on that, but it's a more unfavorable wind direction and will probably be down at the south lookout for Friday. So tomorrow's looking like the day. All right, again, what an amazing day of hawk watching. I apologize for the abbreviated video today, but I spent 12 hours out in the field and it was as much as I could do to get everything done so I can go out and do it again tomorrow. The conditions are looking excellent tomorrow. With the southerly winds tonight, I would imagine there will be a good songbird flight in the morning and hopefully some more new arrivals. Um, so my plan is to be up at six, out by seven, and it'll probably be another 12-hour day out in the field. Today we had turkey vultures migrating as late as 7 p.m. or a few minutes after. So should be a really good flight tomorrow. We got great winds all day. And they're calling for more sunshine than they had been. Should be a mix of sun and clouds. So really good conditions. Again, we're right in the peak of the early season stuff. So a lot of adult red shoulders, a lot of red tails moving. We're getting good numbers of golden eagles, 
rough legs, things like that. So, and now with the first Osprey today, pretty much everything is on the table except for broad wings, which won't start showing up until mid-April. But tomorrow is looking like a great day of hawk watching, and there weren't that many people who came out today, so I got to enjoy a lot of the big flight um, by myself and with a few other people. But I think tomorrow a lot of people will probably come out, especially after they see today's total. And looking at the forecast, it's looking like a good day. How many times can I say that over and over? So I hope that you're able to come out soon to Derby Hill. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.